we're in business. Man, one of the biggest requests that I've had is um, people have been asking me to do a loadout video. So basically, show you all my gear. Um, oh God, I just I just didn't know how to do the video correctly. You know, I was too embarrassed to have somebody hold the camera as I went through everything. But then I realized, oh, I have a mirror in the house. So basically just point the camera at the mirror and then walk you through everything I have. So this is kind of what my loadout looks like. Um, okay, this is the basics. Sometimes I have more gear on, sometimes I have less. But on a pretty typical day, this is uh, what you're looking at. Usually this is tucked in better. I just didn't do it today. Honestly, I just came home like uh, 20 minutes ago and I'm like, oh God, I got to put on my uniform and I just, I'm exhausted. I've been working graveyard shift. So um, just didn't really feel like getting all suited up and it is super hot. Like right now, let's see in the house. Well, it's 79. That's not too bad, but 80 degrees, right? But uh, outside it's like uh, close to 100 degrees. So coming from outside I'm totally hot so this is it right here okay now I don't know the name of every piece of equipment I have or how much I paid for it, where I got it from like the brand name is what I'm saying but I will definitely um, look this up before I upload the video and then I'll put little affiliate links in there and then you'll be able to um, buy the gear yourself if you want and if you click on those affiliate links from what I understand it helps me out as well so let's start off with my mags I usually carry three mags now in the state of California the most you can carry in your mags are um, 10 rounds so each one of these is 10 rounds uh, these are hollow points and the reason for hollow points is if you do get into a gunfight and you do uh, have to shoot somebody these hollow points uh, generally will not go through a wall and hurt somebody on the other side. Or if you shoot somebody with it, it usually stops right after you hit that person. Full metal jackets would go right through that person and might injure a person or kill somebody behind them. So these are all hollow points, 10 rounds each. Of course, uh, my firearm has another magazine and there's 10 rounds in there. Usually on this uh, bracket right here, there's another spot for a magazine and then behind here there's another spot for a magazine so I have a magazine here and a magazine here now that's only if I'm in an area that you know we anticipate something going bad but if it's just a general everyday um, you know security position uh, I try to go light and I know this may not seem light to you but I don't want to take any chances now these uh, holders right here I forgot what they're called something mole tactical single holder or something rather um, but they're cheap um, I got all three of these for I believe $23 on Amazon or on eBay so I'll link you to those as well and I like them because each one of them is like an individual piece right and you could see there trying my best to there you go so each one's an individual piece and it looks clean let me grab my old one. You'll see how horrible they looked. Give me one second. Uh, darn it, I should... Uh... Anyways, I had another one, and they looked really horrible. But they, would, like, they were all together, and then they would sag forward. So um, it looked kind of lame. So I got these individual pieces here. I think it works a lot better. Incidentally, these magazines, I got them on eBay. They cost roughly $11 a piece. Now, these are for my sidearm, which will I get into in a second. Typically, these mags will cost you, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks a piece if it if they're actually brand new and from uh, Beretta, which is what my firearm is. Uh, but, you know, you get them for 10, 11, 12 bucks on eBay each. It's absolutely worth it and it puts you in a position so that you can buy more. All right. Uh, I usually have an American flag here. You know, if you want to have one or not, that's totally up to you. This uh, name tag, I got this on um, Amazon as well. There are supposed to be white letters, and they messed up and basically gave me black letters, and I was a little bit 
irritated because they wouldn't give me a refund. And then eventually I'm like, you know what, I actually like the look. I like having black letters on a black background. Um, that way somebody has to get close to you to read your name and somebody from far away can't be like, all right, man, I got your last name now. So um, there you go. There's that. Sometimes when I have a, um, a radio, what I do is I open this up and then I slide the radio, you know, like the little clip. I slide it under here and then like go like this and close it and then the radio stands right there. Uh, let's see. This is a generic badge. Obviously your company badge is um, going to be right here. But since I don't want to reveal who I work for, I just put this generic badge here for you guys. Um, then this is a badge holder as well. This thing um, comes off. You can just pull it straight off, but I'm only working with one hand here, so I can't really do it. And usually my badge is a little bit higher. I just literally threw this on a few minutes ago, took off the company badge, and I didn't put it correctly, and it moves around. So it would usually be like right up here. So just so you guys know, this is not usually where I position it. It's a little bit higher. So you got this little badge holder. You can put a lanyard through here and hang it around your neck, or you can just clip it on. And it's got Velcro in here as well if you want to go that route. What else do I got here? All right, this belt, I've been through a ton of belts. I forgot who made this belt, but I will put it in my link a little later so you guys can see. Um, and by the way, this uh, little holder right here, I think it costs $12 on Amazon as well. So $12 for this little badge holder, $12 each for the um, magazines, and these right here come up to roughly 7 or $8 a piece. Um, and again, I will link all this later when I upload the video. Um, so this belt as well, I think this cost me 22 bucks. But what I like about it, it is heavy duty. I mean, this thing is super thick, right? Um, so this is exactly what you want. You don't want a flimsy belt, especially if you're carrying stuff on top of it. Uh, you'll find that over time, the cheap belts will start to rip on you. And that's the last thing you want to happen. Um, under this belt is another belt that holds up my pants. I would, I would take this off to show you that, but you get the idea. And plus, if I take this off, I'm not going to be able to clip it back on with one hand. So there's a belt that's under this that holds my pants. And then, um, you've got this belt right here that holds your gear. So you don't want to put all your gear on your belt that holds your pants because your pants are going to be sagging like crazy. So that's why you have two belts. Now, this thing right here will ride all over the place, right? It will be lopsided, and if it's heavier on the side, you, you can already see it's kind of going downward right here, and you have to pull it up occasionally. Well, to help alleviate some of that, you get these things called belt keepers. These things, they just clip right off. They're like round, and you stick them on your belt, and they'll hold your plate, uh, belt in place. So you've got one right there. I've got one behind the cuffs. I've got another one behind me. And then another one here. Usually four of them cost you $12 on Amazon. So I'll link you to that as well. But let me tell you, man, they make a huge difference. So I would certainly um, consider getting those belt holders. These handcuffs as well, I got them on Amazon. They're pretty awesome. They come with a universal key. I almost bought handcuffs that had their own proprietary key. But you don't want to get handcuffs like that. You want to get cuffs that any single officer in the world can open up with their key. So I didn't know that, but keys are universal. That way, if you ever lock somebody up and you lose your key, any officer can unlock it. Don't buy handcuffs to have their own special key that only that company sells because then, you know, if you uh, lose your key or you're not able to unlock that person because, you know, you're dead, somebody will be able to unlock them. So this um, cuff, kit now i say it's a kit because it came with the holder and the cuffs man i shopped around everywhere and finally i'm like just before i committed to buying another pair uh i realized oh i need to get the cuff holder as well and that's another 15 bucks then i looked a little bit more on amazon and i found this entire setup i think for 16 dollars. and these cuffs are really heavy duty they're awesome i don't know the name of this particular brand but again i will put it on um, my description under affiliate links and you guys will be able to purchase them if you want i'll take them off real quick they just slide right out this is kind of what they look like you see they're heavy duty this is the company 
oops, it looks like I ran out of uh, space there on my phone. So I've got another 10 minutes before it runs out again. So you can see right here, it tells you the company. It's called Ace. And then it says uh, something, I don't know. It's too tight, too small for me to read. But yeah, these things are pretty awesome. And then you just simply uh, slide them in here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Oh yeah, there we go. And boom. And then the little chain part right here hangs out of the bottom of the case. My only gripe with this is it's the only thing on my body that makes noise. So you hear that, it annoys the life out of me. Especially when I'm walking, you can, um, you can, well, you can't hear it now. I'd have to exaggerate my movement, but it does make noise and um, I'm going to have to find a workaround. I know they sell something called silencers that you can attach on here and they'll make less noise, but um, for now, this is, this is how I have it. Over here, I have um, this. Let's see what I got here. So this is some sort of like carrier. Uh, just it holds two items. In this case, I have a Leatherman toolkit here. It has um, pliers, knives. It's this one's the Leatherman Wave, but you can see it has all kind of accessories in here. There you go. Uh, this thing comes in really handy, and I figure if it's ever an emergency and I need to break a window, I can take this to a window. And it would be game over for that window. So I have a Leatherman here. Um, again, this thing has come in handy so many times. And then over here, I've got my pepper spray. Now, uh, it looks a little beat up, but it's not as old as it looks. This thing's only like two months old, but just the labeling gets worn off so quickly. But I use pepper gel by, uh, what is it, Sabre? Uh, I like the gel because it comes out as a gel. And if you spray it, it's not going to be like an aerosol and the wind's not going to blow it back in your face. So uh, I prefer gel over spray any day. I think I paid $12 for this on Amazon. It even came with its own carrying case. But the problem with the carrying case is that it was way too tight. Like when I would put it in here, uh, in order to pull it out, I'd have to like twist and pull it. I like this right here because it just comes out instantly and it goes back in. Pepper spray is a really good... Uh, less than lethal alternative um, probably better than a taser uh, if I could argue that point you know it doesn't matter um, how big you are if you're blinded you're kind of worthless right whereas a taser there's not a, a guarantee it's gonna work so got my pepper spray got my um, Leatherman got my cuffs got my belt there's a belt under here Moving along, I got a watch, right? I like the watch because it makes you look more professional. And there's so many times where I want to see what time it is. Uh, the problem is if, if you pull out your phone to see what time it is, it's going to blind you. This right here, I just press a little button and the light comes on. This is $12 on Amazon. It is a Casio. Um, I've not had any issues with this. They say that the battery lasts 10 years. If you look closely, it says 10-year battery. I mean... For 12 bucks, dude, it's one of the best watches in the world. It was actually rated one of the best watches in the world. You can't tell by this cam. It actually looks really thick, but this thing is so darn thin, and it's so lightweight. It's one of the only watches I can wear without bothering my wrist. Waterproof, has a backlight if you press the button, an alarm. Um, you can change it to 24-hour mold or 12-hour um, mold. But there you go. That's the Casio. I'll throw that in my link. Moving along, I've got some body armor. Um, so the way I do this is I have um, two sets of armor. I've got this carrier right here made by Condor, right? There's a plate inside of here. Today I'm not wearing a plate, but generally, you know, you could put plates in here. And then under this, I actually have Kevlar. So I have a bulletproof vest right here that's Kevlar. It is 3A. Um, matter of fact, you know what? I could take this off. So let me uh, let me take this off. So boom, we take this off. Really easy. I unclip this. All right. So now the vest is off. So this is my body armor, right? This is made by Survival Armor. These vary in price. This particular armor setup costs one thousand seven hundred dollars plus tax and shipping. But you can see it wraps around your entire body. So you have protection on your waist, you have uh, protection on your chest, as well as your back. It's super lightweight, it's Kevlar. 
Um, and inside of here, I have another armor plate. So you see right here, it's like, well here, let's pull it out for, not, for people who haven't seen an armor plate. So this right here will help distribute some of the force if you get shot by a gun, especially in your vital organs. And it simply slides in here. Let's see if I can get this back in. If not, we'll just drop it on the ground. All right, there we go. Okay, so it only adds roughly, I'm going to guess, a half a pound to the weight of the entire vest. But uh, I really like this Survivor armor. Uh, I bought it on Craigslist for almost nothing. Let me tell you guys, if you go online, you will find that you can find bulletproof vests all day long for almost nothing, especially Kevlar. Uh, don't buy into the hype of, you know, when they say, oh, this armor is only good for five years. If you look online and see all the research, you can wear body armor that's 20 years old. As long as it hasn't been submerged in water or severely damaged, it will do the job. Um, so I would certainly look on Craigslist or whatever form of online um, marketplaces you guys can find. Um, $1,800, right? I kid you not. I think I bought this for 60 bucks. And the guy uh, before him, I was going to buy it, another one off him, a different guy, and he was selling for 100 bucks. So um, this right here, it's Velcro, and you can see it wraps around your entire body so you have the side protection. This Condor vest right here on the ground, it has little pockets right here that you can slide in plates on the side, slide plates in the back and in the front, but damn, this thing gets heavy. I think when I filled it with plates, it was almost 30-something pounds, right? Whereas this vest right here in its entirety is probably, I'm going to say, five pounds. All right, moving on over. Well, let's try my shirt. So this shirt right here is, um, I've got two shirts on. I've got an undershirt that's long sleeve. This keeps me warm at night. And this can be under armor or anything that you prefer. Uh, I like it to be tight so it looks a little clean. Um, but I have a long sleeve undershirt. And then I have this shirt right here. This is made by Condor. What I like about this is it has Velcro on the side. I don't know if you can see, but then you can put your company patch right there. So uh, the few companies I've worked with have all been okay with me wearing a uh, different color than the, um, the company color. Like most companies want you to wear a blue shirt or a gray. My company's like, no, if you got a black shirt, that's cool. As long as our company logo is on there, you're, you're in good shape. All right, we've got three more minutes before my uh, memory runs out. Uh, as far as weapon tree goes, uh, I've got this uh, Taser Pulse. So this is a Taser. It has the same strength as an X26 or any other, um, you know, bigger um, Taser. But I just don't want to carry this huge Taser because when you sit in a car, it bumps into everything. It's just huge. It's heavy. It's unnecessary. This thing right here, you flip it on. And you can see the light turns green. It has a laser and it has a light on the front of it. And let me tell you, man, this thing will knock you out. So it's a pretty um, pretty badass uh, taser. It's compact. It looks like a little Glock. It has a nice grip to it. You know, you could buy these anywhere from 375 bucks up to 500 bucks. It's sold by the taser company. I will link you in Amazon. What I like about this is, let's see if I can do this here. Okay, if I deploy, for some reason, the cartridge, which I'll put in here, if I deploy it, um, it still works. So let's say that cartridge shot out, it didn't immobilize a person. As long as this switch is flipped, you pull this and boom, and then flip that off, right? So it doesn't deploy until you pull the trigger again, boom. So you've got yourself a, uh, a, a taser here. This is like a stun gun. When you put the cartridge in it, it's an actual taser. Oh, you'll notice on my vest, I put extra cartridges. I just Velcro them on. I put them on the front here. They come off really easy. Just simply pull it off. Look at that. I just put Velcro and then uh, you push this out and it can pop into the gun. So if I needed to get another cartridge, it's just right here. So I have two of these cartridges. They run like $60 a pair. They recommend that you swap them out every couple years. And last but not least, oh, my thing's going to run out. So let's, uh, let's let it run out and then I'll re-upload.
All right, so now we've got 10 more minutes. I don't feel like I have to rush as much because I want to get into my pants and shoes as well. So as far as my firearm, uh, this so this right here is called a, ah, starts with a K. Somebody makes this holster for the, uh, for the Taser Pulse. Uh, a couple companies make it, but I happen to like this one. I forget the name of it. I want to say it starts with a K, but take a look at it. It's pretty awesome. You can put a screwdriver in here and adjust the amount of pressure it takes to pull this out. I like to keep mine at medium so I can do a fast draw, but it won't, it won't, you know, if I was doing a card wheel, it wouldn't pop out, that's for sure. It's not that loose, but it holds onto it pretty snug. I did have it at one point really tight, and to pull it out, I would have to pull, and I was like pulling at my belt, and you don't want that. You want it to be pretty fluid. You want to be able to pull it out instantly. Okay, so that's my uh, taser. This right here uh, is a Safari Land holster. It's a replica. I actually accidentally stepped on my original uh, ho um, holster. This is called a drop leg holster. So you have a holster that can go on your belt, right? But in this case, I have a drop leg. It's, um, you know, I just think it looks cool. I mean, that's really the main factor. I just think it looks cool. But, you know, for tactical reasons, some people tend to really like the drop legs. Uh, there's a little uh, thing that hooks right here that you can put a flashlight in. There's another attachment that this comes with that you can um, stick another magazine in and a magazine behind here. But I don't feel uh, the need where I work at now to have that many mags. I mean, I've got 40-something rounds and I've got uh, a box of ammunition in my glove box if I need more. But um, it does look kind of nice when you have another um, magazine holder right here and then you've got these mags here. But it adds weight to your leg, and do you really want that? So what I use as my daily is a stainless steel Beretta, right? So let's take the uh, mag out. So we've got a mag here. I'm going to open it up. So I'm going to set the phone down just quick enough so I can open this up, show you it's not loaded. All right, guys, so this thing is not loaded, right? Um, this is your stainless steel Beretta. It is a 9mm. Yes, it looks like a drug cartel's gun because it's all chromed out. But I am all about being a visual deterrent. When people see this gun on my side, I'm sure they think, what the hell is that and is this guy crazy? Again, it's a, all part of that whole deterrent factor. You don't want somebody uh, just thinking you're a pushover and bother you. You want somebody to say, man, this guy looks sharp. He looks professional, and for people that don't know guns and they see this, they're like, damn, what is that? Right, so let's engage it. Boom, it's ready to go. I'm going to safely unlock that. There you go. So this is a stainless steel Beretta. The price of this, ah, that, that goes back and forth. This is a special edition. I have seen these go for $3,000. Uh, that's the typical price if you go online. This is some sort of special anniversary Beretta Enox edition or something rather but um, I've also seen them go as low as like $1,500 so you can get the same uh, gun that's just in black if you want you could probably get it for like 800 bucks a lot of guys carry Glocks and you know there's a lot to be said about them good things uh, but then this was a pretty standard firearm for many years in the military Navy SEALs it's been one of the most used guns in um, just about every movie uh, in the world. So uh, there you go. There's your uh, stainless steel Beretta. You press this button. You can. Oh, man, I wish I could. Uh, here, let me. Uh, let me see if I can set this up. All right. So as you can see, whew, no, I can't do it. Darn it! I was hoping I could show you how quick I could field strip this. I just don't know where I would put my my uh my phone but yeah you can here let's do this guys i really want to show you how quick this thing field strips all right so we've got the beretta right here you simply drop this down boom the top is already off look at this pull this out boom right your rod magazine excuse me uh barrel look at that i have literally just field stripped the entire gun in a couple of seconds and putting it back together is uh, just as quick makes for easy cleaning and uh, if you ever get a jam you can unjam it pretty quickly so 
Uh, maybe I'll make a separate video on each one of these items. But there's your gun. The pants, I forgot who makes them, but they're 60 bucks and they are one of the most awesome pants I have ever had. Supposedly they're slice proof, they're waterproof. They are just, the build quality is awesome. You have these little pockets here so you can hang a little knife. Usually I have a knife right here. Um, they are like, they're breathable, but then again, they keep you warm. Uh, when it's hot outside, they keep you cool. Uh, they will take a beating. I mean, they're just awesome pants. I, I should just do an entire video on this. Oh, I can see my zipper here. It is made by a company called Proper. So these are called Proper Tactical Pants. Again, I think they're like 60 bucks. The best pants I have ever had. They have Velcro pockets inside of here. They have compartments um, so that you can separate your stuff. But let me tell you, man, best pants I ever got. I went through so many different pants and I settled on this. Usually my pants are tucked into my boot. In this case, it came undone. Um, I didn't really put my gear on properly today, but um, it looked more clean. Speaking of boots, all right, so this is the first pair of boots I've been wearing. These are Nikes. Uh, I forget, what, well, let's see what they're called. There's something Nike Tactical. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, something VL2. So they're Nikes VL2. Pretty awesome. Check this out. These things are super lightweight. I like it because back here it's flexible. It's made out of some sort of material. So it's almost like wearing a shoe. Um, it's got grip on the side here if you want to climb up uh, a rope that's why they have that like um, grip area you can see the hose it's breathable it's nylon right here the rest of its leather these things are so awesome but here's the deal man I don't know why but they hurt my feet like they're just too tight I wear a nine and a half these are a nine and a half if I went to a ten they would definitely be too big now these aren't like I think I said that they were tight, but they're not super tight, but they're, they're sort of, I don't know, man, they just hurt my feet. Like, literally, I have damage on top of my foot now, like the nerves hurt me just because uh, it's been pressing so long. So I have like some nerve damage uh, and it's starting to get better, but, um, you know, wearing shoes eight hours a day can really uh, affect your, your feet. So you got to make sure you have feet that are comfortable. These, I think, cost 160 bucks. Super lightweight, but you know, I I don't know. Just gonna wait till my foot gets better and maybe put one of those shoe blocks in here, and then hopefully, um, hopefully it will stretch it out a little bit. So, and what I don't like about these is you have to lace them up, right? The boots that I got right now are like thirty bucks. You take this little Velcro piece off, take the zipper off. You don't have to like tie anything up. So it comes off on the side. Now these I got for like thirty bucks at Best Buy. It's made by Response Gear. Uh, or no, I think it's called Response Gear by TOFC. Again, these are a 9.5. These things do not hurt my feet. They're a little bit heavy, but again, they don't hurt my feet. Um, they're solid. If I were to polish them up, they'd probably look really nice. So um, I like the, the boots with the zipper on the side better than these any day.